Good morning, good afternoon, good day. This is Barry with Christensen Transportation where the truckers truck and safety takes priority. Um, today, I want to talk about idling the trucks. Um, and I know I've done this before, but you know, until people change behavior or get it through their, their head of uh, the effects, uh, not only to the vehicle, but to the checkbook um, on idling, uh, we're going to talk about it. Uh, we're going to address it. Um, so I ran a couple reports, and these these uh, computers are pretty smart. Um, idling these trucks is really hard on them. They do not rev up. You cannot bump the the, the, the throttle cruise up enough while it's parked in order for it to do a proper regen. Um, that's why we put thousands of dollars on these uh, battery operated EPUs on the back to keep us warm and keep us cool. Um, the things that the truck does, but the truck's burning a gallon of fuel an hour versus zero uh, on the batteries. Um, you know, when we got these trucks, we, we spent them and we bought warranties and we, we accounted for maintenance stuff. <clears throat> and we were never supposed to have to clean the DPF systems if we don't idle uh, in the cycle of these trucks that we're going to trade. Um, but, you know, when I look at this and I've got a driver that's got 73% idle time and another one right below it was 70% idle time, it, it's just absolutely unacceptable because I've got people with 6%, 6.7. I got one guy. 2.1% idle time. Oh, look, look over here. That person with 2% idle has over nine and a half miles a gallon. The person with 73% idle has six miles a gallon. The cost of that um, is just throwing money for fuel out the window and ruining the truck at the same time. It was a double negative. <clears throat> And I can tell you that if you're a company driver and you're idling 70% of the time and getting six miles a gallon, we're going to have a talk. Something's going to stop. Um, it's just, it, it's crazy. Uh, every person, um, look at this guy, best in the fleet, nine and a half miles a gallon, 9% idle. They go hand in hand. You operate efficiently, you make money, and you're successful. You sit out in the parking lot on a 68 degree day and idle the truck with the windows down and blow money, it affects, first of all, they're not paying, we don't get fuel surcharge on idle fuel. So you're losing, you know, 60, 70 cents um, on that, which is just, I mean, uh, people will say, ah, I need more money, I need more miles. Well, help yourself and help us. Um, turn the truck off. I'm going to do a video on how to operate that system. It's simple. There's two sets of curtains in there. You heat or cool the truck for 10 minutes when you get stopped somewhere. You shut those curtains off to block that sun out of that window, and it will maintain that temperature. Simple as that. There's no way that I got people with 2% and 8% that are they're not burning up or freezing to death. They're just operating the system correctly. Um, People with 70% are abusing the system, and that can't go on. So it's a really big cost to us, not just on the fuel, but on the potential damage to the trucks. So fair warning, we're going to do something about it. Um, help me, please. Uh, thanks for being here. For those of you that have got low idle time percent and high fuel mileage, thank you. For those that don't, you can fix it. it it's not a math quiz it's not a an engineering puzzle it's a matter of turning the truck off driving at a safe speed and using the equipment properly and everybody can do it so i'm going to show you how so stay tuned thanks for being at christensen where the truckers truck and safety takes priority okay everybody today we're going to talk about our epu system you see the unit on the back no big loud noisy box sophisticated system if used properly 
and today it's because we're not using them near as much as we need to so this truck is equipped with an auto start system so it monitors your batteries it monitors your heat and cool and it's pretty simple you've got like a home system back here where you turn it on and you set it to whatever you want to set it to for heat wise or cool wise and then you just enable the system you don't have to turn it on you don't have to start the truck you simply hold down the auto start button and it tells you that it the system is on you do this with the key off and you can leave this system on when you're not in the truck so your food doesn't spoil and it keeps everything working the key to this system is actually the key leave it off and if you're going to get out of the truck for time off or something you set that button with the door open that way it doesn't deactivate the system the system is based on safety so if you're in the truck and you set it and you open the door and pop the hood the truck won't start up um, you know and get you in the fan so what you do is you pull in wherever you are and if you're trying to heat or cool you get the cab to the temperature you want and then you simply shut off all the curtains and it goes around this big window that lets all the heat or cold in and you also have a set of curtains in the, behind the driver's chairs that you pull and it maintains that temperature in the truck and see so you hear the horn honk and the truck starts up that means it needs something whether the batteries are getting low um, or it needs to heat or cool uh, and it monitors the batteries uh, for the cooling system at one level and it monitors the truck batteries at another level and charges at a different rate uh, that way it doesn't leave you stranded so pretty simple operation and trust me it will heat and cool as long as you set it up properly we have people in the fleet with as low as three percent idle time and people in the fleet with up to 74 percent idle time on the same system they're just not using it they're not using it how it's supposed to be used and they're burning thousands and over a million dollars in fuel wasted on idling last year and probably the biggest effect that we haven't seen yet um, is the, the DPF filters if you sit there and run these trucks parked for hours it's clogging up that system you cannot bump up the cruise control high enough to allow for the system to do a regen therefore you're just clogging that up and that's going to be a three thousand dollar repair if you've got 300 trucks that gets pretty costly pretty quickly so use this system uh, it's quiet it doesn't start up other than the truck and you really the only time the truck's going to start up is if you've got your microwave going your tv going everything going for an extended period of time then it's going to drain the batteries otherwise the system may not start up at all uh, in between shifts so use this use the features that we've paid for